The other day I saw this ad for Rings of Power. Hmm, number one show, eh? Are you sure about that? Advertising Rings of Power as your number one show is kind of like saying, oh, my favourite feature about me is, ah, uh, it's got to be my brain tumour. Episode five. All right then, uh, let's get this over with, shall we? Look at me. Acting like I don't derive pleasure from making fun of this show. Every time Friday rolls around and they drop another episode, I know exactly how school bullies feel when they see like a malnourished child. I'm just like, come on then. To snail, why the snailing's good. Snails, snails. Snails, yeah. <laughs> Dirty little hobbits still walking around like a pair of white briefs after a sweaty rugby match. I disliked them so much, I didn't even realise that they weren't in the last episode at all. Like, talk about forgettable characters. I forgot an entire species, an entire genus just erased itself from my memory. So, never bathed my foot, sorry, Nori Brandybuck is now explaining to the long, dead-looking gentleman, he's, she's explaining the dangers that the, the Harfoots face. Parents. Like a danger, you know, big folk, wolves, fog, rain, hill trolls, cave trolls. Yeah, you know, she's listing off a bunch of stuff, trolls, all that kind of thing. Fails to mention the whole, you know, the fact that these greasy little lunatics will just leave anyone behind if, God forbid, they sprain an ankle. Remember, remember the other episode where they were talking about it? There's that guy who died because of bees. Like, literally, this guy got my girl and they just peaced out and laughed about him later. It's Fireflies. That was just an accident. You're not a peril. You're good. I'm good. You're good. <laughs> what is this dialogue? You are good. Me, I'm good. You're good. Good. Yes, good. Good. <laughs> This is what you get when you get a three-year-old to rewrite of Mice and Men. I, I, I'm... I'm good. What is the point in sending a hairy man down to Earth from space just to dribble on a load of little people? If this is Gandalf or one of the other Istari, aren't they supposed to arrive, like, with their power levels already over 9,000? Like... The only reason they're in like a like an old man body is is to like limit them uh, so they don't intimidate all the other races in Middle Earth. They don't arrive like dribbling idiots, do they? Call to me, call to me, lands far away, for I must now wander this wandering day away. What the f was that? They've turned Lord of the Rings. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to call this Lord of the Rings. They've turned Rings of Power into a kid's Disney movie. And that's offensive to Disney. I never thought I'd say this about a fellow musician, but whoever wrote that song, go and fall down a well. It's not easy to say, but it needs to be said. Of drink I have little, and food I have less. Are you sure about that? I'm a bad, bad person, an evil person, I know this. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. My legs are so short and the way is so long. <laughs> You're just making the words up at this point. I've got two feet and a nose and I walk far over a hill around the... Sing to me. Would you look at that, Slim Shady's finally decided to turn up uh, and she gives us a nice Kubrick stare. Truly an acting masterclass. Oh, wait, it's just Uncle Benjamin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm not the king you have awaited, but if you choose to stand with me and fight, this tower will no longer be a reminder of our frailty, but a symbol of our strength. Yay! That woman who made bread or shoes or whatever has become a commander. Why? There's literally a man behind you who's fully armed and has done this for 
hundreds if not thousands of years, can we not hear from him? But because she's such an inspiring and empowered woman, she manages to convince a whole lot of hungry homeless people with no weapons to fight an army of orcs. Who among you will stand and fight? And then this guy who knows a thing or two about Sauron, he's got something to say. Stand and fight. You will die. I say it'd be better to take our chances bowing to the supposed enemy. And at this point you're supposed to be like, boo, boo, evil man trying to undermine women, boo, he likes Sauron, boo. Thing is, he's kind of based though. I mean, literally, what are these people going to do? Like I said, we've already established they have basically no food, they have no weapon, no combat experience, they have one man with a bow and arrow. What are they going to do against an army? And for those wondering why I barely, if ever, talk about a sealed door. Something for which you evidently care little. I care. Yeah, but give him the right it must be you. He will listen to you. When I speak, his ears close up. So speak louder. Oh, not again. <laughs> He's writing this dialogue. You can't, you know, just add in a dramatic pause as if something's profound doesn't make something profound. You still, <laughs> you still have to write something good. Then speak louder. Why aren't you all clapping? That, that was billion dollar acting right there. And we're back with the half foots. And I've been thinking, right, these people, like, live on like you know they're, they're constantly traveling they're always like pulling their little caravans and trailers like by hand At, according to their songs they barely eat anything like these these half foot shouldn't be like these should be like shredded they should just be like a bunch of like mini mr universe is just kind of tanking around they're just a bunch of dumpy little sweat bags how are these people still alive i mean they don't exactly have the sharpest senses take a look how long it takes this bitch to react one at a time please Bruh. Oh, come on! They were about to be eaten by wolves, and then Spruce Lee turns up. I swear to God, that better not be Gandalf. Bro, did Gandalf just thunderclap? There are many ways to kill an orc. But for you, I will keep it strong and simple. Stab. Twist. Gut. <laughs> you telling me? I stab people with swords. Ah, oh, I tell you what, Galadriel. It's a good job you're here. I've, oh, I've been using my sword as a toothpick this whole time. It's no wonder I haven't killed anything yet. First lesson. Sticking with the pointy end. I know which end to use. What was a funny little joke in Game of Thrones is legitimate combat advice in Rings of Power. Come at me. We will see who can score flesh. Anyone that does, I will promote. Based. Now that's my kind of guy. Whoever cuts this bitch gets a pay rise. There's at least five of you, so come on, mess her up. But of course, we know this isn't going to happen, so go on, Galadriel. Show us why you're a girl boss. By the power of white woman! <laughs> <laughs> She's beginning to believe. No, but for real, like the Matrix, you know, bullet time dodges. A little bit, and then mixed with like the little staccatos every time she dodges the sword, it's just like, oh, uh, it's. <laughs> Cringe. Swordsmanship is about balance rather than strength. Fight with your feet, not your arms. Attack with the feet! Attack with. The Am I doing it right, Galadriel? Am I doing it right? Is this it? Yes, I'm well aware this is a bread knife. I don't have a sword to hand. Galadriel stole mine. Oh snap, she's unlocked a Kimbo. By the power of white woman! Never trust brute force to best an orc. It's often easiest to outmaneuver them. Hold on. You were, you were, you were telling us to stab them a minute ago and now you're saying we have to outmaneuver them. Are you, are you drunk? Never known a smith's aid who could do that. And I never knew that Galadriel was known as the Scourge of the Orcs, but there you go, you learn something new every day, don't you? 
Alron, <laughs> forgive me. Forgive you? But I did not tell you sooner. I love you, Elrond. Let me place my face betwixt your elven booty cheeks and go... Why do you keep fighting? Because I cannot stop. Well, no shit, he's just asked you why, though! And we're back with Bronwyn, and even though she's the one who managed to convince people to stay and fight, it would appear she's had a change of heart all of a sudden. How do we have to stop him? Look around, it's over. Not yet. Soon enough. And when they march upon us, this tower will fall. I don't know, I, th I might have fallen asleep for like a minute or two. I'll grab your butt cheeks and pull out my willy, stir your ass. But I'm almost certain nothing has happened that would change your mind. I am confusion. Oh, watch out, Killer Brimbo. Looks like you've got a little bit of competition. Give me the meat and give it to me raw. <laughs> well, this one doesn't beat about the bush, does he? Give it to me raw. Uh-oh. Ah, go on. One last time. <laughs> and there we go, episode 5. I do hope you enjoyed uh, If you did, please do like and subscribe. It really does help me out. You know, I've probably lost at least a couple of hours off my lifetime through making this video, so uh, it would be appreciated. And as always, a big shout out to the patrons and the channel members. We have the tier 2 Giga Chards. We've got Steve the Goat, Puzzle One, Saeed, Brennis, Dr. Melsky, and MG Virgil. Thank you so much, my guys. And then we've got the tier 1 patrons, Abe Froman, Sammy Murray, Damon Spike, Chloe Bond, Lord Claret, Brett Leafers, Arkham Spider, Sammy JW, Baggy Sweatpants, and of course the channel members, Kuno Sacco, Yon Witch, Miguel13, Saint Nemo, Hadziu, Eric Stratton, and we are welcoming a new channel member today, Chucha Chastley? I believe that's how it's pronounced. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below. And there we go. I really do hope you can join me in the next episode. But until then, take care of yourselves, guys. And I'll see you real soon.